This is what you bring to a potluck when you want to be a star. Loaded mashed potatoes. So the first thing obviously that we're going to start with is some potatoes. I already cleaned and washed my potatoes even though I'm going to be peeling them just because it makes me feel better about life. So I'm grabbing my vegetable peeler and peeling the potatoes. I have seen some people leave the potatoes whole, but I mean leave the skin on the potatoes, but I'm not a big fan of that. I showed you um, a smaller potato next to a larger one just to kind of let you know that I'm going to try to make everything around the same size so that they can cook at the same time and so that they can cook evenly. So some of the little baby potatoes, the little mini me's, I just leave them alone and then the big mama potatoes I'll cut in half. Alright, so um, that's really what I'm doing. Just eyeball it it doesn't have to be exact it doesn't have to be precise it's all going to be boiling anyway now i'm going to start the process of boiling my potatoes i'm putting my potatoes in the pot first and if you're not used to boiling potatoes it might seem a little weird that we don't boil the water first and then plop it in kind of like pasta but the thing is when you start the potatoes in cold water it helps them to cook more evenly so that's why i do that and when you see people um, making mashed potatoes or just boiling potatoes in general you'll see them start off with cold water now when it's time to boil the potatoes you want to add some salt to your water because one, it helps to add flavor to the potatoes from the beginning, and two, the salt will help the water to boil faster. Scientifically, don't remember why, but trust me. So um, once your potatoes are done boiling, you want to drain them, and then we're going to get ready to start mashing by adding in some milk. I like to add the milk in a little bit at a time, not for any particular reason other than the fact that I don't want um, the milk splashing around everywhere if I put too much at the same time and also sometimes you might want your potatoes a little bit creamier or a little bit chunkier so that's all going to determine how much milk you go ahead and put into your mix so I am going in with my potato masher. We are going ham because I really like my potatoes to be, my mashed potatoes to be really smooth and creamy. So I'm adding a good amount of milk and I'm putting in a lot of elbow grease because I want it to be silky and smooth and not so much chunky. So at this point, it's going to start looking more like the mashed potatoes that we are looking for the mashed potatoes that we deserve so one of my favorite secret ingredients is sour cream sour cream and potatoes just go together you put sour cream on top of your baked potatoes and it's a bomb so one day i figured why don't i just put that in my mashed potatoes and ever since i started doing that it's been amazing it helps with the creaminess and it also adds some really bomb flavor to the loaded potatoes i was just thinking about that randomly one day and i woke up and i was like i'm adding sour cream to my mashed potatoes and honestly that's such a fat activity dreaming about food um but shoot if you go through the same thing give me a like and subscribe because this is what we do over here so what i'm gonna be adding next to my potatoes is some garlic powder and some onion powder and this is where you're going to see me start flavoring things a little bit more i'm adding in salt Sometimes I'll add um, chicken seasoning, but not today. Now, this ranch salad dressing seasoning mix, okay? Another major, major key. I haven't seen anybody put this in their mashed potatoes. Maybe I just did some, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that is a major key. It adds some really nice ranch like flavor to them it's kind of it almost tastes like you know when you dip your french fries in ranch dressing yeah that's what it tastes like so i add um almost the entire seasoning packet of the powdered ranch dressing because when i 
first put it in and tasted it I felt like the flavor wasn't popping enough so I kept on adding and tasting adding and tasting until I got it to where I wanted it to be and that's what cooking really is about is getting flavors to your liking and making each dish that you make your own you know even the recipes that I post if you like something that I use but you don't like something else switch it out experiment okay so the next thing I added was some green onion that I chopped up and again I'm using that milk on the side just to smooth things out as I go along at this point I'm just adding milk and folding it in until I get the exact consistency of mashed potatoes that I want. Once it starts looking like this, nice and smooth, I am ready to plate it. So I went ahead and put it in a much nicer round glass dish. This is just for presentation purposes. You could eat it out the pot if you want to, if that's the kind of life you live in. I'm not judging, eat it out the pot. But I decided to put it in this nice glass bowl for presentation purposes and because I'm making a video for y'all. So now I'm adding in some really nice sharp cheddar cheese on top. You know what else would be really good on here? Some french fried onions. You know those really crispy french fried onions that you can get um, in a box? Yeah, put that on top of there if you have some of those. I just thought of that. So I put on some bacon and some jalapeno on top. You could also fold the jalapenos into the mash mixture itself, but I decided that it would go better on top just because it gives people the option to have um, a little spice or not. To finish everything off, I'm going to add some green onion and some sour cream. But while I'm doing that, I want to thank you so much for watching my video and visiting me over here at Season That Ish. This is a really new channel and I'm committed to... I really am trying to post at least four videos every single week just because this is something that I've always wanted to do. Let me know if you like this video. Like I said, like and subscribe if you like the video and comment if you have any suggestions. But look at that mashed potato. That looks freaking bomb okay if you want more recipes from me please follow me follow me on instagram at season that ish and i have more videos coming soon for you bye